This assessment asks us to show the mechanism of a reaction that is reported to be similar to the aldol reaction shown on screen. Now, if we look at what we have here is we have nitromethane and an aldehyde. We recognize aldehydes as being part of the aldol reaction, uh, usually electrophiles for enolates, but we haven't ever seen uh, a, a nitromethane or a nitro group being used in this reaction. The second part of the question asks why, why can we use nitroalkanes in the aldol reaction? Well, let's think about, let's draw the Lewis structure of what this nitro really is. When we look at NO2, maybe it, it's not quite as obvious uh, what, what that's really going to look like. So if we draw the, the Lewis structure, we would have a, a nitrogen oxygen double bond, a negative charge on this oxygen, and a positive charge on this. Now, if we look at that structure, what does that look familiar to? What is that similar to? Well, let's draw an aldehyde. Right? We know that for an aldehyde, the alpha hydrogen is acidic because we can ultimately draw a resonance structure that looks like this. We can draw the enolate, right? We can remove a proton to make an enolate. This carbonyl will help stabilize a negative charge on this carbon through formation of that enolate or through the contribution of the enolate resonance structure. Well, carbon oxygen double bond, nitrogen oxygen double bond, resonance should be possible here as well. And so what we can do is if we think about what would happen if we deprotonated this, so we'll use hydroxide to deprotonate, we can draw a resonance structure that looks like this. Yes, there's a positive charge on the nitrogen, but we can stabilize that conjugate base through drawing this resonance structure here, which looks identical to this one. And so the two molecules that we, we normally see in an aldol reaction has an acidic proton, this proton is probably acidic. In fact, it's much more acidic. Its pKa is around 10. To make an enolate, to make what looks like an enolate, what we would call a, a nitroenolate. And that nitroenolate, right, if we draw the other resonance structure, is essentially going to have a negative charge on that carbon. So it's going to be nucleophilic on carbon in the same way that enolates are. So, so we know why the nitroalkanes can participate in aldol reactions. And, and doing this analysis first makes this a, a much easier reaction because now to do the aldol reaction, we're going to simply take our newly formed enolate and react it with this aldehyde. And so we'll use this resonance structure here. These electrons come down, push the pi electrons to here, and then we'll move those electrons up onto oxygen the way we usually do. Uh, that's going to give us an initial product that looks like this. All of the rest of this is just coming along for the ride, so we'll keep it drawn exactly as it was. And then the reaction is going to finish in the same way that all of our aldol reactions do, by removing a proton from water and regenerating our base catalyst. And so we end up with that product. So this is the mechanism of this so-called nitroaldol reaction, just like the normal aldol, except we're using a nitro group to help stabilize the enolate.